Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mission Employable podcast. My name is Ben Oldak. We've got a great show for you today. One of the reasons it's great is because our co-host Kathy Leggett is back in the studio. Kathy, good to see you. It feels like it's been like months for, since I we've know. been in together. I think so too. When I saw you, I'm like, it's been forever. So I'm happy to be back. Yeah, happy to be have you back, but I'm sure that you would rather still be away because <laughs> you said that you were in Hawaii. I was. I was so fortunate to visit some friends in Hawaii. I'd never been there before. I got to the island of Kauai and it is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I can't imagine. It is. And, and so it was fantastic. But I have to say, I... I I'm happy to be back. I, um, as beautiful as it was, I love our wide open spaces here and uh, and the people here and and it's so so it's good to be back. Yeah, dramatically less like mangoes though. Yes, um, <laughs> which is something that I would love to experience over there. It's just yes. like eating one right off the tree. Oh, oh anyway, so good. yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> but uh, back to the episode. Uh, it's, it's it's we got a great one because Joseph Noble is here with us. He's a career planner. Uh, with Iowa Works, and he's one of our staff who drives the Iowa Works Mobile Workforce Unit, which is what we're talking about today. Uh, Joseph, welcome to the podcast, man. Thank you for having me. I, I appreciate it. I'm excited to talk a little bit more about that Mobile Workforce Center. Yeah, definitely. And and if you guys haven't seen the Workforce Center before or uh, what it looks like, it's basically a big RV that we have retrofitted to become a, a workforce unit, essentially, where we can drive it to different locations and help people uh, with their resume buildings and 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 all kinds of different things. And, and Joseph's going to tell us a little bit more about that. But um, first of all, just kind of like how long has it taken us to to get this thing up and running? Because I know this has yeah. been in the works. Yeah, this has been in the works for a while. It took a, quite a bit of time to really determine how this could be best utilized and what all should go into it. It's been in the works for, I'm told, about a year or so. So it's they, they were able to come together with a lot of great ideas and a lot of great things to really make it a, an awesome thing. Yeah. I, I think I'm I'm really excited about this. As as you know, I get excited about a lot of things ben, <laughs> <laughs> that, that we have going on here in Iowa. But I think this is so great because um, as you know, as much as we want to and, and always encourage and drive um uh, folks to go to our Iowa Work Centers. There, you know, there's some distance between where they're located and where uh, people are who who might benefit from the services. And so I'm I'm so glad that we have something that is going out to people now. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about um, maybe first of all, like how is it equipped, what's in it, and then and then. Uh, give us a little background about where where it's been. Yeah, exactly. So, like you said, it, it, there's a lot of people that come into our location over at 200 Army Posts all the time that are struggling with transportation, don't have access to technology, don't know how to utilize technology, and this is really helping them with those barriers. So inside the Mobile Workforce Center, we've got 10 laptops, so we can host about 10 job seekers at a time. It's got a printer there on board so they can print off their resume. We have internet on there so they can they can utilize the internet while, while on it um, through the laptops. We also have a, um, a lift for wheelchairs so it is accessible, which is great. They put a lot of thought into, like I said, all the details. Uh, they also have two TVs. So we have one TV screen on the inside that we can utilize for like notifications, like letting people know of upcoming events. We can also do demonstrations on there to show them how to utilize the Iowa Works website. And then outside, attached to the outside of it, we have another TV screen where we can do more of the, the kind of like the workshops and kind of broader things to larger groups of people. Awesome. Yeah. And then the places it's been, yes. uh, let's see if I remember them all. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been to a few places now. So we've been able to take it out to Perry uh, to help with the Tyson plant closure. We've also had it out at Camp Dodge um, over in Johnston to help out um, there. They, they provide a lot of wonderful services over at Camp Dodge for our military members. But we were there to put on a an additional service with a resume workshop. Uh, it's also been up in Ankeny for the um, John Deere um, layoffs. And then it's been in Ames. It's also been out in the Burlington area, Eastern Iowa, um, to help with their, their numbers for the unemployment numbers out there. So it's been quite a few places. We've been able to help a ton of people. Uh, it's, it's been wonderful so far. And this has all been in like a month and a half, two months. You like, know, it's been yeah. a whirlwind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really, yeah, we, we didn't unveil it until unless in uh, about, until about a month ago or a month and a half ago. And yeah. we've already hit all these locations. I mean, it's certainly something that we're utilizing quite a bit. 
Yeah, it's it's been great. Like I said, it's it's been wonderful being able to get out into the community, help people overcome some of those barriers that they're having to to finding employment and really help them reach their career goals. It's it's been fantastic. Yeah. So what does this allow us to do as an agency that we couldn't really do before? Obviously, getting to some of these places. Right. But like, you know, at, we've been to certain plant closures at, at one time or another, but having this unit there, this this workforce center is kind of a different thing. You know, it's really providing a, a few different things. So number one in my mind is for, for some of these rapid responses, these plant closures, it's really helping give peace of mind to the staff that are there. It's, it's a big sign that says, Iowa Works is here. We're here to help you with the next step of your career. And I think that peace of mind is is invaluable and that's is providing that. And it's also, like I said, it's, it's overcoming some of those barriers. Even when we're there um, for some of those closures in the past, this is a this is a little bit more access to stuff that we have, um, and it's on wheels, so we can be a little bit more mobile with it, get to places in a quicker time span. So it's it's really helping with that, and like I said, those barriers of transportation and access to technologies, getting out to some of those rural communities, uh, like I said, out in Burlington area, that we've we've been able to really reach people that struggle with with some of those barriers. Yeah, and and you, I mean, you mentioned the getting out to some of these rapid response. Um, situations where we've been out there to kind of discuss what services are available but now we can be like we can discuss those services and then be like and in 10 minutes we're going to go out and we'll get on a laptop and we'll actually like look for jobs like right now exactly being able to do resume work right there on the mobile workforce center help them with mock interview questions help them do the job searching right on the iowa works website right in real time instead of just being able to provide them with information we can actually show them and help them and walk them through the steps which has been that's amazing. Great. Yeah. Be, um, before we started, we were talking a little bit, um, Joseph, about like um, maybe more specific examples. How long does it take somebody? Let's say, and 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 I I really think it's important the 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 piece that you shared about, especially for some of the the layoffs that are happening, that we can be there and say, you know what, come on, we've got. Let's see, you know what's open for you. Let's update your resume. Resume. Let's do it right now. Um, how long does it take? You know, like if somebody is is coming into the the mobile vehicle. Yeah, so it really just depends on what they're looking for. We're we're there to help them with whatever step that they're on with that future job from getting to point A to point B. So if they're looking to do a resume review and wanting some help with mock interview questions and want to do some job searching, they could be looking at about an hour or so a worth of worth of services. If they're just looking to get a couple questions answered about their unemployment, it could be a quick, easy five minutes. So we're, we're really there for them, whatever they're needing. Um, so it's not only does it have all of the, the type of equipment you were talking mm-hmm. about, but so, a career planner is there and do, are there, does yeah. it depend? Is there one career planner? or there more more than one how does that work yeah so it ju- definitely just depends on the mm-hmm. situation where we're at obviously while we were out in Perry with the mobile workforce center we had a handful of career planners available Great. just because we knew we would be getting larger numbers coming through yeah yep. it just depends but, but there is somebody there, there is somebody who knows there. the system yeah. and the programs and how to help yeah exactly and that's our career planners at Iowa works really are trained on some some great aspects of helping job seekers with that steps of moving forward. So it's, that's probably the most invaluable part of the whole thing, but that's all, everything is, is great with it. So, yeah. What's the response been like from people that have gone on the, got on the bus and, and checked it out and did it? Yeah, it's, it's been a great response so far. We've been able to help so many people. I've, I've myself, I've only been able to go to a few of the events so far, but when I was out in in Perry for the Tyson closure, we saw tons of people come through. They were all so happy to have some assistance. A lot of emotions, obviously, with a plant closure. Sure. Yes. So being able to kind of give them some reassurance that it's going to be all right. We're going to find this next step together. We're, we're here to support you with whatever you're needing with this. It's, it's been very well received. Yeah. And it's so important to be able to remove some of those barriers for people that are dealing with a layoff situation like that, right? Like, exactly. like you said, a lot of emotions going on, a lot of, you know, where do I go? What do I do? What next? It's, I mean, it's so easy to sometimes, you know, kind of even freeze in those moments and, and to be able to go out there and, and get that process started immediately is got to be so valuable for the process to move on. It definitely is. And being able to, like I said, give them that reassurance, give them that option to be able to move on is great. And another thing that we we faced when we were out in Perry was the the language barriers. Sure. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing we're equipped with on the mobile workforce centers. We have access to a phone that can utilize a language line type of service that really provides access great. to whatever language that an individual is wanting to speak in as their native language. So. That is great. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Um, so 
how do people request that the 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 workforce center come to them so yeah. if there's a you know career fair or or a hiring situation or you know a town just wants to bring bring a resource in that may be facing like low employment numbers what's the process there yeah so the process would be to go onto the Iowa workforce development website and you can get access to both the the calendar on there as well as requested on there I would say that priority of service goes to those layoffs to those closures sure. um, rapid response is first and foremost mm -hmm. but whenever it is available and and put in a request and we will see what we can do and it, it maybe either one of you can answer this I just want to get out again it, what's it called? Is it IWD mobile unit or like I'm just if they were searching something, I'm just trying to think, you know, if you, if to try and find that website. So correct me if I'm wrong, but Iowa Works Mobile Workforce Center. Mobile Workforce Center. It is a mouthful. It, but, but, it's, <laughs> but it is exactly what it is. Uh, so, yep, exactly. Um, you know, I'm curious as you were talking about the, the uses and things, I'm wondering um you know, might there be a use um, if an employer, um, a large employer is training their HR staff or something to request it to and then have you guys help them know how to use the Iowa work system for job postings, job searching, you know, because because there's an employer component to the system as well. And it sounds to me like that that could be an option as well. If, if that was something that would be worthwhile, you know, because sometimes right. just getting your hands on and having your employees do it and taking them through the train, you know, is is helpful in how to use that system to the best of its right. ability. We, we do have a great business services team um, that really helps with a lot of the employers are putting in those job orders, um, putting in, needing some assistance with navigating, searching for resumes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I agree that yeah. that is definitely a potential for the future. Interesting. Right now, we're, we've really been focusing on trying to get that unemployment rate down, yes. help with these yes. layoffs and the, yes. all everything else that's going on. But I can definitely yeah. see that as an option in the future. I think yeah. that would be wonderful. Very good. Um, and you mentioned you just mentioned this just a bit earlier, but I just wanted to reiterate uh, on the Iowa Workforce Development .gov website, um, or now it's workforce.iowa.gov. We uh, we're still trying to get used to the new the new web address. Um, there is a calendar where you can, if you're looking to see where it's going to be next, if you want to catch it on the road, you could go to the calendar and see where it is. You got it. It's, it is updated on there, so that's the best place to check for where it's going to be next. Okay, great. You know, I guess one other thing that, that hit me when you were talking is um, I think – you, as you mentioned, a lot of emotions. I think this has to be one of the hardest things, if, if specifically when people, you know, are are having layoffs or you know, um, one of the hardest things that they experience. Um, so I'm so glad that we can be there. But I also it made me think, you know what? You don't know what you don't know, and and if that's never hopefully been your experience, then this is such a great resource because you you do think about resumes and what else is there and what services are available and what maybe training options are available and what which which are all the things that are important to know but right in that time i think that's probably a little bit lost in everything going on so again i just want to hit that this is this is such a great thing and and whether you're um, in that position or you're just looking again after a period of time or something, utilize these resources, please, because that's what we're here for. Yeah, and you got to think a lot of these layoffs, some of these individuals have been there 20 plus years, and right. it's been a while since they've had to work on a resume or right. prepare for an interview. Absolutely. That's going to be very intimidating. So yeah. our, our career planners are well trained on helping people and know the industry trends for the resumes and for mock interviews and stuff like that. So yes. it's it's great, and we're, we're underutilized. We're, yes. We could always have yes. more people come in into our 200 army post location but definitely when yes. our mobile workforce center is out there come find yes. us and so yeah. many things as we always try and get out so many yeah. um services and and help available to yeah. iowans and even just for people on the road seeing it drive down you know mm -hmm. it's got all of our branding on it and our web address and all that kind of stuff and so like I mean, essentially doing double duty is like a mobile billboard. Yes. <laughs> right. It's hard to miss, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just so, so so folks are aware, the next two events that it's going to be at, um, April 16th and April 17th, it's going to be at the West Liberty Foods. Uh, and that's going to be for the, the rapid response there for the layoffs happening at that plant. So that's more so dedicated to those people, mm -hmm. not so much a public event. But right. Um, on April 30th at the Build My Future event in Cedar Rapids, we're going to be there as well. Um, and of course, uh, you know, if you're if you're headed to the Build My Future event, you can stop in and check it out. And um, and I, I know we're going to be at the Iowa State Fair. So, uh, <laughs> yes. if, you know, if, um, 
if you want to check it out and stop by. Which will be here before we know it. No kidding, yeah. right? It always sneaks up on us. I don't know how it does every year, but it does. Yes. Um, but yeah, we're going to be there at the Iowa State Fair, um, and you can uh, get some hands-on at the at, with the Mobile Workforce Center at the Iowa State Fair. Um, so those are kind of the two that are two or three that are coming up, um, which is cool to cool to see. Yeah, it's it's been fun getting it out there. You know, being able to meet people where they're at, yes. helping people. It's, it's been an amazing opportunity to be able to to take this things on the road. Yes. So it's yes. it's exciting and it's 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 wonderful. It, it winds back to you know kind of the state of Iowa. I just have to bring it back because. Um, you know, we you get to go other places, but I just love this state, and I love that we have these services to provide. And I think it's really great, again, to get out there um, because no matter where I go, and I think you're finding the same, the people in Iowa are amazing, and um, we just want to be part of, of helping them in any way we can. Yeah, so, it's so true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and especially it's, it's fun, and especially yeah. these career planners who yes. you know, live for this. They live for helping people find work and employment and yes. uh, you know they're they're obviously going to be more than happy to help you if That's you come right. and visit them either in the office or at the mobile workforce center so joseph thanks so much for stopping by the mission employable podcast we yes. love having you in and well, what a great resource well thank you both for having me <laughs> appreciate it awesome. all right